The most common injury in football is the ankle sprain, and if you've ever tried it, you'll probably agree that it sucks pretty bad. So why not learn how to prevent it? Now, I don't know how to do anything about it myself, but luckily I found this physiotherapist who's eager to share this important knowledge with all of us. So if you want to stay injury-free, you better listen to this man. Hello, I'm Daniel from Football Mensa, and I'm going to teach you guys out there how to get faster, stronger, and injury-free. I'm standing here today with Christina, who had her fair amount of injuries through her career, and it's about time we bind an into them. The physicality in modern football is extremely important and can get you really far. Just have a look on Cristiano Ronaldo. Today, I'm gonna give you my top three evidence-based tips and advice how to prevent the three most common injuries in football. The three most common and typical injuries in football are ankle sprains, hamstring strains, and groin injuries. Therefore, the top three tips for preventing football injuries are following these simple exercises that I'm gonna show you right now. The first exercise is called the Y balance stability. And actually, Christine, you should take your shoes off because then it gets a little harder if you don't have shoes on. So take them off. Yeah, and put your weight. Let's start with the left one here. Put your weight on this one. Bend your knee and go forward with your leg. We're gonna draw an opposite Y here in the air. Yeah, can you go more forward? This is really good. Keep your line straight here with the knee and foot. And your back is good too. Keep your back straight. Go to the middle. This is good, Christine. Then you're gonna draw a line out here. In the top of the Y, you're gonna draw one of the lines in the Y. Go out a little more. Go out a little more. Yes, hard. Keep this straight. And the knee straight with your foot. Good, straight back here again. Go back to the center. And now we're gonna draw the last line out here against me. This is a tricky one. Yeah, this is good. You can see how she's shaking, and this is because enough. It's not that easy, this exercise. This is good. Really good, Christine. Go up back again. This is for preventing ankle sprains, and you should do three rounds of this on three sets. Tip number two, helps prevent hamstring strains. The best exercise out there to preventing this very typical injury is doing Nordic hamstring curls. That's what I'm gonna show you right now. Christine, if you're gonna go down here on your knees. Yeah, not get too close with your knees. Go a little, yeah. And if it's too tough on your knees, Christine, we need to have a towel. It's okay? Okay. I'm gonna put my weight over your lower legs like this keeping close to you so it's not so hard for me. And you're gonna do in a straight line, not bend it in your hip, falling forward. Good. And you take off with your hands. Do this one more time. Really good. And you can feel it here in your hamstrings, right? Yeah. This exercise is really good. You should do about six repetitions and then you can slowly increase while you're getting stronger. Do about three rounds. And if you don't have a partner to do this exercise, you should be creative and maybe find something you could put your lower legs underneath. And then you should start doing this exercise by your own. The third and final exercise for today is preventing the third most common injury in football. And that is groin injuries. Right here in Copenhagen, Denmark, we found out that this particular exercise really gets your groin muscles stronger. So you should do this one, and it's called Copenhagen Plank. I'm just grabbing a chair over here. Christina, I want you to lay on your side, your left side, and put the right leg up here. You can use a bench or a chair or what you have close to you. Then you're gonna be all straight from this point up against your shoulder here, and your ear. So straight line here, straight line. This is good. The elbow should be underneath your shoulder. Don't get shoulder injuries here. And now, you're just gonna straighten this leg and lift yourself up. Yes, stay there, stay there. You can start out holding this for 10, 20, 30 seconds. You can go down again. 
when you can do 30 seconds, you should start doing repetitions. So what you do here is you're gonna go, get, go up here again, yeah, and go down, and hip up, leg up, hold it, slowly down, really good, and hip up, leg up, and slowly down. You should start out with six repetitions, and then when you're getting stronger, you can do more. Do three rounds on each leg. There is really good evidence behind these exercises that shows that if you do them three times a week in about eight weeks, you will make a significant effect by lowering your risk of getting these very common football injuries by around 40%. That's amazing. And besides that, all the exercises can easily be done at home or on the pitch without any special equipment. That means you could do it as a warm-up or cool-down exercise on your training days. That was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And Christine is now going to keep herself away from the treatment table. If you're a football player too, please do these exercises for your own sake. Or maybe you can ask your football coach to add them in your training sessions. You're definitely not gonna be in the starting 11 while being injured. Please ask if you have any questions regarding these exercises that I've shown you here today. Maybe you want other tips, or maybe you have ideas for what the next video should be about. Please leave a comment down here in the comment section down below. And uh, of course, if you wanna see the next video, you should subscribe to Unisport Web TV on the green bubble up here, or you should maybe check out my channel, Football Mentor up here. Take care.